Look at that grill. There we go. You need a demo, buddy. So you can actually learn a lot from the inside of your dog's mouth. For one, the gums, we start by looking at those. Sometimes they're discolored, sometimes they're pale. That can be a big issue. Sometimes they're yellow, that can also be a concern. Sometimes they're inflamed and they're very red. That can be related directly to dental disease. Moving on to the teeth, and what we're looking at is if there's dental tartar or a calculus or what degree of dental disease is going on there. Sometimes we see gingival recession. That means the gums are kind of creeping up along the roots of the teeth. And that tells us dental disease has been going on for a really long time. Sometimes dogs teeth are crooked. I don't worry as much about that. Sometimes they're missing teeth. As long as the gums look okay, I don't worry about that. Sometimes they're missing parts of a tooth and there's like what's called a slab fracture and the tooth is fractured and there's root exposure. That would be a concern and another cause for dental disease and possibly extracting that tooth. Something else that we can gather from the mouth is simply how does the breath smell? Now dog breath isn't always the most pleasant, even in the case of a dog with a healthy mouth. However, malodorous breath is very common and expected with dental disease. And honestly, there's been cases where I've walked into an exam room and the room smells like nasty dog breath. And I know immediately, okay, this dog has serious dental disease. Something else we used to look in the mouth is actually to gauge the age of the dog. If you see a dog, for instance, with pearly white teeth, that would probably be a very young dog. If you see there's a little bit of tartar, then that's still probably a younger dog, two to four years old. If there's more tartar, more calculus, assuming they've not had a dental, that would be indicative of a middle-aged dog, and then some older dogs have more advanced disease. The mouth is very important to look at, again, for assessing dental disease and actually general health, and that is why your veterinarian spends time looking in your dog's mouth.